Hey, beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's get straight to Capricorn. Spirit, what is it that Capricorn needs to be aware of? The grandmothers. Remember your roots. Trust the weavings. The ancestors, the grandmothers. What are the grandmothers up to? Becoming grounded, living in connection with you. Well, lineage of the rose. Moved by the goddess. You're here for this. This is your soul call to gather the sun, joy enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. <clears throat> so the grandmothers here are here for this. The grandmothers are here for a reason. This is the lineage of the rose moved by the goddess. This is a soul call to gather, saying to remember your lineage. Somebody's grandmothers play a very significant role here and whatever is going on. Capricorn, please and thank you. What's this all about here? Movements, progress, books, reading, learning, education, speech, communication, take responsibility and help others. So your grandmothers are here, or you are a grandmothers, the lineage of the grandmothers. You are here for this soul call. It's like take responsibility, help others, learn. There's a very fair man here or a businessman. This is someone who could work with law or money. Something to do with your routine job or your workplace, your day-to-day -day life, day-to-day -day conversations, or someone in your environment. Training wheels. This is good luck. This is growth. This is gardening. So somebody's grandmothers are telling you to remember your roots. Whatever you work on, something they told you, or you're working with your grandmothers here. I don't know if it's gardening or what you do for your job. This is a fair woman, a soulmate, a wife, a psychic, an empath. Oh, geez. This is mother and son. So somebody's grandmothers or mothers are telling their son to remember their roots. A 
This is... Ooh, shit. So somebody might have been made an early widow or a widower. Or this is a bad second marriage. The grandmothers are at work here. Telling you to remember your roots. Keep on a budget. This could be to do with uh, being shrewd, being careful. A marriage late in life. This is... Oh, shit. Ay, the grandmothers ain't pleased with somebody here. Whoever had, like, a second marriage late in life it's like the grandmothers ain't very happy with whoever this person is the grandmothers are pissed they're telling you to remember your lineage so somebody's grandmothers are angry Like, did this person just forget all about their lineage? Did they forget who they were? The grandmothers are like, wake up. What the hell is wrong with you? There's some kind of curse here. It's to do with blood. So somebody Something going on here. Did this person sell out their lineage? Like sell out their ancestors for another person? Did they sell out like... Uh, Okay, what the hell is going on here? Like somebody's father is like sitting here going, what? remember your lineage. It's like, did they... The grandmothers are a little angry here. They could be angry at their own son. Like, whoever, I'm not saying you if you're the masculine. Just let this play out. Don't go there yet. Whoever this is, it's like, Oh, the ancestors do not approve at all of who this person married. They're not in approval or whoever they're with. The grandmothers are saying, 
you might be my son or my father's son or your father's son, but I am telling you right now, I am not happy with who you, the grandmothers don't like whoever this energy is. They don't. They don't. Jeez. So whoever this mother is, there could be a couple of sons here. This they feel like this person has betrayed their ancestral roots by hooking up with who they've hooked up with. Like, they may have gone into business together, like two brothers may have gone into business together or something like that to carry on a traditional business or so, like what they do for a routine. This is like, oh my God. <clears throat> the grandmothers are giving this one person shit for whoever they got involved with. It's like a curse. They've cursed their bloodline. They married the wrong person. They were supposed to be with whoever this was. And it's like they have some sort of business together. These two brothers got a business together and they've involved someone else. They could have married someone late in life. This is a second marriage. But there's something here. They reversed the plan. This isn't how it's supposed to go. They've reversed everything. So somebody's bloodline was about to be blessed. Someone figured whoever this feminine is, they should have married this feminine because whoever they did hook up with has cursed their bloodline. Had they married this person who is an empath or a psychic or something like that, they would have blessed their lineage. And these grandmothers are sitting up there and they're going, what's the matter for you? <laughs> Why are you choosing this person? Why are you choosing this person? You've cursed the family bloodline. The ancestors are pissed. They were wishing, see, this bloodline, this particular bloodline would have been blessed had they married who they were supposed to marry. Instead, it's like they could have they're insulting whoever this feminine is. They're saying like... They're calling this person faithless. Who this is your ex. They are now your ex. And they've cursed the freaking bloodline with whoever they married, whoever they hooked up with. The ancestors are like, would you remember your roots? 
why are you so busy trying to like, I don't know what this person is trying to do. It's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so they married someone very superficial. They married someone who they thought would maybe they're younger, maybe they're attractive, maybe it's superficial. So they gave up someone who loved them deeply to marry someone or connect with someone who is all superficial here. That's the second wife or something like this. It's all for superficiality. But the grandmothers are disappointed. The grandmothers are saying... You give up love for money and it's cursed the bloodline somehow. Some kind of... compensation or something got to be paid there's somebody is getting ill it's like it's like they've cursed their bloodline i don't know if they had They're telling this person, they're giving them clues. Remember your ancestry. Remember your lineage. So I don't know if this person hooked up with someone of another race or hooked up with someone who is ill, but something to do with the blood is not, um, they're of a different bloodline, a different, um, blood group. They may have had, like, children with this person or brought children into the relationship. And I'm sorry to say, but they weren't supposed to be with this person. This is not their match. Somebody is sick and somebody might be going to the hospital here. It's because of business. It's because... A sick child. Sorrow. This is a complete upheaval because they may not realize it or not, but whoever they married, whoever they connected to, it's caused nothing but sorrow, brought sorrow to their bloodline or brought sorrow to their own children. It's something about 
the two blood types are a bad match. It's like if they have children, those children could fall ill or those children, they're like, it's their bloodline. They're not supposed to be with whoever this energy is. It's all for superficiality. And it's like, this is sorrow. See, it's about a birth. Something with their skeletal system. It's like they've... Let me ask... Something going on. Conflict. It's going to end up... These people are supposed to be separate. They're supposed to be separate. They're... It's like the universe is forcing a change here because the bloodlines, they're not supposed to be having children. They're not even supposed to be with this other person. If they have children, it's the children that will suffer. It's like passed down. And it's like someone's... <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Endings, disease, sickness, oh my God. What is all this sorrow here? What is all this sorrow? What the hell is going on? Oh my god. This is a not good energy. No, this is not good. So they've had children or there's children involved with this other lover who they went to. And they turned their back on the person who was their soul wife, their soul mate, or their soul wife. And when it says soul wife, they may not have been married to them, but this is their soul wife. It's stronger than a soul mate. This is someone who's, they're already married in the 5D. <sighs> like a soul wife or a soul husband is a stronger bond than that of a soulmate. They're already married in the 5D and they turned their back on who was they was supposed to be with. 
that they got a contract with. This was already their sole wife. Oh my goodness. And they went, turned their back on that person and met another lover. And they could have children with that other lover or that other lover as children. And it's something to do with business. Now, see, had they married this person here who was their soul wife, they would have been blessed. They would have blessed the ancestors. by do It would have blessed the ancestors' bloodline. It would have been a blessing to the ancestors. It would have probably cured their bloodline. There's a conflict with the ancestors here. The ancestors do not like this other lover. They do not like this other lover. Mm -mm -mm. They do not like this other lover at all. And they're saying, remember your ancestry. What are you doing to us? Oh my God, they're fighting. See, this is someone who they married someone who was very superficial. And it is an illusion. Dang. That's who they chose over and the ancestors are mourning. Grieving. And now... They could have had a child. Oh my Lord, have mercy. They pushed away their soul wife or their soul mate. Pushed them away. But they have done more damage than they realize. What the hell's going on? Oh my god. This is like they've cursed their bloodline or something. By the God. See, this person got greedy. This individual got greedy. like the ancestors are no this is how it was supposed to go down Jesus so somebody got trapped Oh my God. Uh, 
oh, they've cheated the ancestors out of a family blessing. It's like... There's something wrong with who this child is. I, I don't know what's wrong with this child. But there's something wrong with this child. Because... This was their empress they gave up. They broke the contract. Oh no. They got manipulated into marrying someone else, a third party. Oh shit. Look what's going on here. Aww. That's not fair. So they end up resenting this child. They end up resenting this child. Resenting the fact that they had this child. And there's a karmic child. Aww. It's like... See, that's where I feel sad. Because of this person's greed... Because of this person's decisions, because of this person, whatever they did do, who they're with, who they chose to have a child with, it's not the child's fault. The child didn't ask to be here, okay? They married someone or they impregnated someone because they had their eye on the money. Whoever this feminine is had their eye on the money. So they could have married this person for money, have a child, emotionally manipulate them into, oh, it's not the kid's fault. Why did the children suffer? But the grandmothers are saying, like, remember your lineage. So who'd they sell down the road for someone else? Did they sell... They sold out somewhere along the line for this to have cursed their family lineage? Oh, no. It's something to do with blood. This could be a sickly child, a child that will cost a lot of money in treatments or... I don't know why people do that, but they do say, like, the sins of the father, right? See, when people... The part that I don't like about these stories is like you see the pain and the suffering when someone goes and say they go 
cheating on a spouse or a partner or your soulmate or whatever, that's painful enough. But then to go into a karmic situation and bring children into the world, like these are high maintenance kids. These are like kids that it's something to do with the blood. So maybe they're of like, I, I don't know. They weren't meant to have children with who they're having children with. And see, you come here, God has a plan when you come here of who you're supposed to be with. When they alter destiny, when they alter the way things, like it's all contracted before we get here. We agree to these things before we get here. And then midway through or afterwards, they change the plan. They, and you go and you have a child with a karmic energy it's the child who suffers. It's the child who suffers. It's like they aren't supposed to be mating together. These are people that are not supposed to be mated in the first place. Jesus. I mean, they prayed for and they wished for, you know, the opportunity to come back to this earth, to reincarnate upon the earth. And it's contracted in the 5D what their intentions, what their purpose is, what they come here to do. And then all the angels, the spirit guides, the ancestors, they try to arrange it so you cross paths with this person. Who you're supposed to be with. They get that person. That they prayed for and wished for. And prayed for a second chance with. And then they go and split the contract. And go with a karmic energy. It's like it's destroyed their genealogy. It's destroyed the bloodline that was meant to be here. It's like they didn't have, they altered. It's like altering DNA midway through. It's like this child is going to need a lot of care. This child is something to do with their skeletal system or this child's got something because they weren't supposed to mate with this person. It was for business purposes, superficiality. They're not there because they're in love. They actually resent the child. Wow. So what it's doing, how then it affects the ancestry is like now this child is born and they're born with these defects or they're born with this legacy and then who... Do they grow up and have relationships with till there is no more bloodline? They've ended their bloodline. It's like the end of that bloodline. It's like 
they're not thinking. They're not thinking. They are not thinking. And that's why the grandmothers are here praying. The grandmothers are praying. Like... It's not the child's fault. Well, that's really sad because what's going to end up happening is this relationship is going to end up breaking up because the person who is there in it they really don't want to be in the relationship it's like the grandmothers are praying for whoever the son is the son took someone on who they should not be with. And the grandmothers are pretty choked here because they're telling this person, remember your roots, remember your ancestry, your lineage. Think of your lineage. But they're not. They're out acting out of self-interest and they're not thinking about the lineage of the child. What the child has got to endure. Karmic children are a handful. They quite often have learning disabilities and illnesses and it's just like when two bloodlines are not supposed to mate because of factors. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I do know enough about spirituality and I'm no doctor, but I can tell you when you are mixing... um bloodlines that you're not supposed to be mating to and with it's like it creates a whole nother set of challenges for that child they had mated with the one that was chose for them had they mated with that person they wouldn't be dealing with this circumstance this child would not be dealing with this circumstance that child would have been born unto who they were supposed to be born unto people messing with contracts and changing them to suit their own benefit at the time and not thinking about the long-term ramifications of their actions. Bye. I don't know. Out of greed. Someone just plain and simply got greedy. And they've cursed their bloodline. They've cursed their bloodline. I don't know who did that. But that's what they did do. Take care.